Hi, everyone, and welcome to another video. A critical buffer overrun security bug in the OpenSSL library, specifically in x.509 cert verification, caused a significant delay in the release of Fedora 37. This delay was, of course, a very wise decision. Fortunately, Fedora 37 is now a go. And in this video, I'm going to take a closer look at the early upgrade process from Fedora 36 right after this. Fedora Linux prides itself in being leading edge and innovative without the instability often associated with the freshest packages. It's not a rolling release either, meaning for a version upgrade, we need to switch over to the new 37 repositories. I'm going to do this now on a Fedora 36 test VM and see what happens. Here is our Fedora 36 machine. I've got Arc menu installed here. Uh, let's go to settings and about. As you can see, device name is Fed36, uh, Fedora Linux 36 Workstation Edition, uh, GNOME version 42.4. And uh, here's our list of extensions. So app indicator I've got, Arc menu, as I said already. Background logo is included, blur my shell, uh, dash to panel, remove drive menu, extension list that you're seeing now, no overview at startup, and uh, also enable the user themes. Though I haven't done much with them on this machine. Okay, so let's um, go to the menu and launch the extension manager, which is a flat pack from flathub.org. Very convenient, very powerful extension manager uh, that I highly recommend. So here we've got the list of extensions installed and active. What I'm going to do, since Fedora 37 is GNOME 43, check with the upgrade assistant uh, if my extensions are compatible. So we've got GNOME 43 as the target pre-upgrade. So I'm going to click on check compatibility and maybe Make this window a little broader. Supports 12 out of 13 extensions currently installed in the system. So everything's supported except for one. Ah, uh, yes. So everything's green except for the background logo, which is unknown. That's okay. Background logo extension is shipped with Fedora. So uh, it'll work just fine in Fedora 37 as well, presumably. So we're looking good for the extensions. Okay, but on a terminal, let's get going here. Uh, first off, uh, let me uh, just type NeoFetch here so you can see what the state of our current virtual machine is. So as, as I said earlier, a GNOME 42.5, Fedora 36 workstation. So DNF repo list shows you the active repositories I have enabled for this virtual machine. Basically all of RPM Fusion, the usual other repositories, all for Fedora 36. So let's make sure we've got uh, uh, the system completely updated with sudo DNF update. You need to do this before you do an upgrade. Make sure that your existing system is fully updated. Very important. So this will take a while. Um, let do its thing. So it's got, uh, you know, close to 30 packages to do, including a kernel update. So make sure that all these things are installed, all the updates and patches. So I have uh, multiple simultaneous downloads enabled in the DNF configuration. Hopefully that'll make it just a little bit faster. Um, but yes, yeah, for system upgrades, um, haste does make waste. Uh, um, I think uh, a little bit of patience goes a long way. All right, so we're almost 
done. Let's just install everything. Everything's downloaded. Now it's installing, including running the little scriptlets for the upgrades, and it's done. All right. So we're up to kernel 6.0.7 for this weekend. So let's restart to make sure the uh, all the updates took. We're running a BIOS grub machine here, by the way, as you can see. Okay, we're back in the login, GDMs, display manager. And we're starting, a, I think, a Wayland session here. Okay, let's open up the terminal. And let's make it a little bigger so you guys can read the text. Don't have to squint so much. Okay, sudo dnf upgrade dash dash refresh is to make sure we're all synced with the current repositories. Repositories for Fedora 36, not 37 yet. Okay, looks like we are clean and updated for Fedora 36. So next, what I'd like to do is sudo dnf install dnf dash plugin dash system dash upgrade. Yeah, that's usually already installed. We just wanna make sure that that plugin is there so we can actually do a system upgrade. So next step is sudo dnf system dash upgrade download. It's gonna download the packages, then we'll, we'll install them. And dash dash release ver equals 37. That should switch over our repositories. Yes, continue ensure as system is fully upgraded. Yes, we've just done that with DNF refresh upgrade. So we're ready to go. You may need the dash dash allow erasing switch uh, in case you have some packages that need to be uninstalled during the upgrade. That's a rare uh, circumstance. I just thought I'd mention it. All this is well documented, by the way. I just want to demonstrate to you uh, how to do this uh, live. So it proposes to download 1.8 gigs of packages, almost 2,000 packages to do. So again, patience is a virtue here. You have to be very patient when we're upgrading a system. It's a delicate process, or it can be. Fedora makes it easy, though. All right, so we're just going to video edit out the bulk of this process so you guys don't get bored with me. Okay, so it's downloaded. Now it wants to install the Fedora 37 uh, key for signing the packages. So it looks like it's done. So now all we have to do is d do a DNF system upgrade reboot. We'll do a sudo in front here. It needs to be done as root. And it'll do a reboot and then a system install, which is a very safe process. Uh, for installing, because the system is not running really, it's just in single user mode, uh, the critical files are not up uh, open, and so it's much easier to safely update a system this way. That's one thing I really like about Fedora, is it does uh, a system upgrade offline, basically. All right, this will take a long time, but I've edited out most of this, so uh, we're just about ready to go here. And uh, we're rebooting automatically. Okay, we should be on Fedora 37. Let's log in. And bingo, extension updates are available. Notice it kept my original Fedora 36 uh, uh, background. So, it proposes to update extension list, removable drive menu, and user themes for GNOME 43, Guadalajara. So we just need to log out and log back in again for those updates to the extensions to take effect. All right, that was easy. Okay. So as you can see, with GNOME 43 Guadalajara, you have the quick settings menu. Um, your hardware device will see a lot more 
uh, quick settings there, but it's very handy to get quickly to the settings you need. So you can see we're running Fedora 37 Workstation Edition, GNOME version 43, we're on Wayland, and of course we've got a kernel virtual machine, which is a fantastic uh, solution for virtualization. The device name is still Fed36, so let's call it Fed37. And rename it. Good. Okay, let's uh, um, close settings. And let's check out the new files. So uh, GNOME Guadalajara 43 has streamlined a lot of the menus for files and make it a little more efficient and more powerful. So go to preferences here. See that streamlined a single hamburger stack of um, options. Very easy to configure. And uh, if I right click, go click on properties, you can see this has also been streamlined. And this is not a 43, a GNOME 43 review video. I'm just showing you just a giving you a little appetite for what's awaiting you with the Fedora 37 uh, upgrade. Another thing with uh, files is um, if I right click on say a folder here, I can, the open menu is extended with open with, and you've got a nice streamlined, notice I said streamlined again. Streamlined is a, a motto here with uh, GNOME 43. As you can see, it's a much nicer selection of uh, open with uh, uh, options. For calendar, again, more streamlining. About calendar is uh, 43.1 today. So we're running the latest uh, applets and accessories. Here's online accounts. usual suspects here for um, connecting to your data in the cloud. You can also um, synchronize, manage calendars, you can add a calendar. Enables uh, vCard support as well, so that's new. So you can you know, open the file here and add your calendar file. Optionally in vCard uh, format. Okay. You can name calendars. Again, um, it's not really a GNOME 43 review video. Well, I thought I'd just show it to you anyway. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, pretty nice. It's cold weather lately uh, in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. That's why I'm wearing a turtleneck today. That makes it up a little bit. All right, so we've got a bunch of new backgrounds that are included with the system. So we've got the Fedora 36 wallpaper. Let's switch it over to the Fedora 37 default wallpaper. We've got dark mode array turned on, so that's good. There you go. Interesting city-like landscape. Let's open the terminal. And um, so Stephen at Fed37, the title is still Fed36 with a reboot that'll be taken care of. So DNF repo list. So these are our repositories for Fedora 37. So no Fedora 36 repos survive this upgrade. We're all on official uh, 37 repositories. All the usual stuff, including RPM Fusion, which is very handy and necessary, in my opinion, for a workstation install. NeoFetch shows you the following. We're running Fedora 30, uh, Linux 37 Workstation Edition, GNOME 43, um, kernel 607. 
screen resolution, uh, it's not correct. We're running 1920 by 1080. That's okay. That's a, probably a NeoFetch bug. But uh, as you can see, um, everything is running smoothly. Even though it went pretty smoothly, for important installations, I'd recommend waiting a few weeks before upgrading. Make sure your backups work. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, share with friends, and subscribe to support more videos. See you next time.